over there. Then suddenly, the car crossed mine. And the two occupants ordered me out at one point. I, I obliged. They collected my wristwatch, my shoes, and my car key. I, and, and they drove off. But my car has security system. So, it soon stopped. And they came back for me. Oh God. If they get me, they'll kill me. They'll it's all me. right. It's all right. I think they've missed you. Hmm. What an experience. How can I thank you? If you saved my life. What would I have done? Jam the gates on your face? Well, this is Lagos. <laughs> a lot of people will do exactly that. Well, I am not a lot of people. I am Chiazo Agodi. Well, I'm Barista Nandi Nima. What do you do? Well, I work with Consolidated Insurance Company. Interesting. <laughs> um, I think it's safe to leave now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll walk you down. <laughs> My slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Carried away by life in London. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. You need to see this Ogidi son. Mm. He was deported from America. Really? He's always going mad. He's drugs. Mm. Whenever they go out there, they smoke anything cocaine, heroin, name it. Why? I don't know. They say it makes them feel high. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Please, yes, eh? Don't get involved in hard drugs. So. Okay. Mm? Yes, Mom. I want you to go and come back well and happy. Mom, I promise. Besides, you know, Cambridge University is a very serious place. I won't even have time for such things. I won't disappoint you, not you. Promise. And don't come back with another one. Uh. <laughs> I, I hear white women are crazy about handsome black guys like uh, Dora, <laughs> easy now. Mom, I, I promise not to disappoint you. By the time I finish my master's degree, I'll get down to Nigeria here and get married. I promise. And Dad even told me that before he 
Take it easy, Mom. I, I haven't even proposed to her, but I know she's the one. Hey! <laughs> oh! Do I know her? Don't worry. I'll just see you whenever you call. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> oh! Come on, guys. Let's go. We're running out of time. Let's go. 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 Let
stop crying. It's never the end of the world. Let God's will be done. Any time I remember him, my heart, my heart will skip. Look, don't allow that to continue. You must either tell him or you avoid him. <laughs> She was a year old when she had the accident. The maid I had then sat her on a high pavement. She fell headlong. A bottle pierced her skull. We rushed her to the hospital where it was removed. This is the result. Oh God. But now, uh, how often does this occur? Once in a while. Twice or three times in a year, depending on the situation. We've taken her everywhere. Hospitals, traditional medicine healers, and even churches. They've always given us the hope that all will be well. But what can we do? For now, we just leave everything in the hands of God. I don't know what you're talking about. 
talking about? Shut your mouth! I thought you were sensible. I thought you were intelligent. <laughs> Mom, I, I'm sensible and intelligent. Look at him. Adora! For years now, your excuse for staying single is for searching for the right woman. And now, he is Miss Wright, he is Miss Epilepsy. Imagine <laughs> Mama, I, 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 I think you people should go now. What? You're sending me out of your house? Mama, go. Well, I told you. I told you there's something wrong with you. You're sending me out of your house? Um, I, I don't. Look, I'm tired of listening to this nonsense any longer. I, I want you people to please go, Mama. I'm talking nonsense? Mom, please go now. Just like any other sickness. Mm -hmm. Achiazo is a working class graduate. So? Intelligent and lovely. Hmm. I mean, she's not an imbecile, nor is she a worthless person. Mm -hmm. Can hardly find somebody else. I mean, to love this much. Mm -hmm. Remember, I told you she saved my life once. But she's epileptic. She's epileptic, for Christ's sake, Nandi. Nandi, think of your children. Think of the stigma this will bring to the family. Like a family of mad people. Your children will be shaking, jig, 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 all over the place. Nandi. Nandi, think of me too, if you love me as a mother. To my fellow women see. The number of societies I belong to. And why are you doing this to me? Why? If your father were alive, you'd have attended so much. You are doing this to me because I'm a widow, isn't it? Because I'm a very widow, Nandi. Because I'm a widow. Mama, you, you, you don't understand. Okay. Epilepsy is like headache, fever. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, okay. I don't understand. of her Lord, all the sickness of folly will leave her. But if you refuse to bring her, the sickness of folly will never leave her body. Her Lord, oh yeah, oh yeah, I am not done yet. It is her Lord 
that sealed the womb of the wife. And until you release your daughter, there shall be no cry of another child in this house. Azoda has spoken. Why? Why? Wherever you are coming from, go and tell that your oracle that I'm a knight of Saint Mulumba. That my feet or my daughter's feet can never be seen in the territory of an idol. Go and tell that your oracle that I say so. Get out of this place. Now get out. I have had you. Help yourself first before helping someone else. Excuse me, who are you? I'm surprised you've not fallen down and foaming from everywhere. Oh, God. Who are you and what do you want? How dare you bewitch my brother with your demonic sickness? My mother sent me to warn you to leave my brother alone. We don't need the likes of you in our noble and decent family, period. I'm sure if these people here knew you were epileptic, they would not come around you anyway. So please, leave my brother alone. Is that clear? Why come so late? Come here. You look so sad. What happened? I've lost my job. What? What happened? Yesterday, Adora, Dandy's sister, came to the office and embarrassed me because of Nandi. After she left, I <laughs> had an attack because of the shock. <laughs> this happened to no one. <laughs> the personnel manager sent a letter to me terminating my appointment. <laughs> Everything will be okay. You know I can provide anything you need. But you said you want to work. Don't bother yourself. Calm down. Wipe off your tears. Now follow me. I have a very big surprise for you. Let's go. All because of this illness.
all my lovely daughters to you, please. Because of that, leave right. So you are into this together. Now she has lost her job. Will you help her get another? Will you? Come on. How can you be this wicked? How can you be this mean, mom? Your fellow woman? She's not a fellow woman. We are not like her. In that case, let me see. Who will stop me from marrying Charles? Well, let me see. You have gone mad. You, you have gone mad, Nant. Point me up, you the have mom. You gone mad. Mom, I, oh God, damn it. Oh God. You've gone mad. In case you don't know me, I am Mrs. Margaret Onyama, mother of a nun whom you know very well. My visit here is quite unusual, but very important, because something is about to go terribly wrong. What I find hard to understand is why you know your daughter's condition, yet you want to force her on my son. For Christ's sake, why do you want to extend your misfortune to my family? Is it my fault your daughter is suffering? Excuse me, Mrs. Onyam. I hope you have not come here to heap insults on my family. Your son was fully aware of my daughter's medical condition before proposing marriage to her. Do you think I'm keen in giving up my only daughter into marriage? I'm not sure your son will even take care of her the way I would want her. Then you better stop them from getting married, Mr. Chukuma. Because as long as I am alive, she will never get such care. You don't talk like that, my fellow woman. Your son and my daughter are both in love. And when two adults are in love, there's nothing you can do about it but just to wish them well. I see. I'm not here for long sermon. I've come here for peace. But I can see you people are not ready for peace. You are not serious. You are not serious. First, my daughter lost her job because of this matter. Second, she had an attack caused by her own daughter. And right now, she's going through an emotional trauma. Is that not enough for you? Just make sure nothing happens to her. Because I will not take it lightly with you. We shall see. Wanting to get entangled with any man after some bitter experiences of rejection. But it's no crime to love, my dear. But look at the results. Your people have almost disowned you. My parents are embarrassed and annoyed. Uchichi, that's the price we have to pay. We're going to weather the storm if we keep faith with each other. And please, let's call a spade a spade. The fact is that I am not a normal person. Your people are vehemently against bringing me to the family. No sensible lady ventures to the family where she's been treated with scorn. Why don't we save ourselves and our people the trouble and end up now? It's a night to miss you. It's a miss you forever. Was wrong, my dear. But you missed that one thing. That we love each other. Perhaps you don't know that most marriages go through this stage. To me, it's it's more like a test of our love for each other. Day will come when my mom will be so proud of you. 
She was showing me so much love. All we need is a little patience. Just a little patience, my dear. And we weather the storm. Okay. You will never use my health condition against me. No. Like calling me names or cajoling me about it. I abhor it. It is like tricking a knife into my heart. Oh, Chichi. The way I feel about you transcends that level. I, I cannot. I mean, if, I'm, if, I, if I'm using your condition against you, it's like using it against myself. Can we keep this? Let this be the bond that brings us together against any odds, under no circumstance, in no situation. Is your condition against you. Either by words of mouth or by action. So help me God. <laughs> Doctor, I I need all the information I can get. Because I, I, I really want to marry this lady soon. Well, um, hers is a case of uh, grandma epilepsy. There could be several remote causes, such as natural nervous disorder or some kind of injury to the head. But the immediate causes are crowded environment, overexcitement, shock, sudden flash of light, and deja vu phenomenon. Uh, well, well, well. Uh, it's a situation where a patient remembers a previous attack. Any of these could lead to motor cortex activities in the cerebrum. <laughs> no, so I, I, I don't understand. I know you are lost. Uh, it means when there is an excessive electrical charge from the brain to the nerve endings. The result is loss of consciousness, stiffness of the muscles, clenching of the teeth, and all that you witnessed. Doctor, I was so scared. I mean, is there nothing one can do in case of an attack? Well, um, when an attack occurs, there is nothing you can do to stop it immediately. Do not restrict the patient. Or maybe burn her tools as some people ignorantly do. All you need to do is lay the patient flat on the ground and remove all harmful objects around. Do not put any liquid into the patient's mouth to avoid aspiration. What you need to do is get a spoon, a padded spoon, and put it in between her teeth to avoid injury to the lips and the tongue. Well, uh, after some time, the patient observes what is called a post-ectal sleep. Then she comes around as being conscious and she'll become normal again. Um, but, uh, doctor, is there no hope for the patient? I mean, Cure. 
Well, uh, for now, there is no cure. But a lot could be done to restrict the level of attack. The patient should avoid stuffy and hot environments. Ventilation is very crucial, very important. Over excitement, shock must be avoided. A loud bang and all those things that could get the body of the patient overexcited. Well, if all these do's and don'ts observed and the patient takes her drugs such as Epanotin, Tegritol and Diazepam, the patient will live a normal life. Um, doctor, um, can these drugs be taken if she's pregnant? Oh, yes! <laughs> they are not teratogenic. They're not toxic. They cannot deform a fetus. <laughs> well, um, they are very safe to take. <laughs> doctor, I must really thank you. <laughs> I am really, 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 really lecture. You are welcome. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. My pleasure, yes. Yeah, I wish you all the best. Oh, thank you so much. I know you love me. But will he be able to take care of you the way your mother and I have done? Yes, Daddy. My dear daughter, I have vowed to take care of you and make you happy as long as you live in this house. But since you said you want to get married to Namde, there is nothing I can do. I am giving you my blessings and I hope you'll be happier there. If there is any problem at any time, do not hesitate to come to me. Thank you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Thank, Thank you. you. My, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> So offer all my plea. Of whom your brother called and did the same. You're still forging ahead to marry this girl. What example are you showing as the first one of the family? Mom. What if Obum your brother decides to marry a white woman against your father's wish? What would you say? Mom, Obum is old enough to make a choice. Hey. As for me, she has just heart lives in me. I can't live without her. Is that so? Is that so, Nandi? No. You want to understand. Hey, Tandy, hey. is this the love you promised your father? Is this how your father said you were going to take care of me? Is this the love you promised your father on his sick bed? Hey, Nandi! Hey! Why did you take my husband away from me? Why? 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 Am I going to see this alone? Hey! Nandi! Mom. If dad was alive, I can bet he would give me his blessing. Not what you're doing. Not like the trouble you're giving to me. Is that so? Yes. Let me see how you marry that girl. Let me see how you marry her. My son is about to wed a girl who I am not in support of. That's why I came to see you before the period of marriage ban ends. So they will be the third call. Who? 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 Barista Namdunyama. Oh, Namdunyama? Yes, Father. Why are you against marriage, Madam? Father, the girl suffers from epilepsy. And Namde insisting on the marriage. Honestly, I don't know. He said he loves her. Well, do ask Namde to see me. Okay, Father. Or else, the third call will not be taken on Sunday. Okay. Good. 
manner. Yes, Father. Madam, if Nandi is truly aware of her condition and still wants to go ahead with the marriage, I'm afraid there's nothing anybody can do about it. Because uh, it's his choice. Father, can't we stop the marriage? The, the, the stigma on the family, the trauma. We uh, have to act in accordance with the canon law. Uh, but just ask him to see me, okay? I'll see what I can do. Thank you for that. Bye. Have a nice day. Hi. Namdi. Letis. Oyema. Do take D. Gloria. Chiazo. Agodi. It's my lawfully wedded wife. To love and to hold. In sickness and in health. For better, for worse, till death do us part. What God has joined together, let no man put at In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. that I know. This is very good. Drink it. It will nourish your body. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I will manage it. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> You can leave us now. <laughs> what I came for is not a woman's mother. I know. <laughs> and then my brother, what the fire will chase in the rain is very important to eat. Well, that's true. Mm. Do you know my brother? Yes. That boy. That boy of yesterday is very, very rich now. <laughs> he has so many cars. Even including the one they call a uh, uh, mm, water canese. <laughs> These village people. That is Jeep. <laughs> he wants a large piece of land to build a factory. He came to me, <clears throat> and that is why I am here. But why do you suddenly need my consent to sell your land? You it's not the first time you're selling your land. You don't understand. I don't have any piece of land again, except the one I am, I am living on. What happened to all the acres of land your father left for you? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I have three wives and 14 children. How do I feed them? Buy clothes for them and pay their school fees. Do you want me to steal? But why do you go on acquiring many wives and having many babies? When you know that times are so hard. But they are all growing up and doing well. I see. Well, I am not interested in selling any piece of my land to anybody. Oh. I wonder 
what you will be doing with all that land and who will inherit it. What do you mean, Martin? You want to run my family? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, never mind. Let me go and see my son, Obi I will be leaving from that place tomorrow morning. Uh, you better go. Bye bye. Go. wants to inherit all my lives in my lifetime just because I don't have a male child. That is what he came for. Since that evil man visited us, my husband's attitude has changed. You see, I'm telling you this now because I see you as my son. After I had uh, Chinazo, the doctor said I had an infection which affected my womb. We tried and tried. We made series of tests even hormonal tests. No success. After that, we left everything to God. But uh, since 10 years now, I've been asking my husband to marry another wife. He won't hear of that, and he won't let me be. Sorry, Mom. Take it easy. When was the last time you visited a doctor over this situation? Mm, about seven. Yes. It's over seven years I last visited any doctor concerning pregnancy. You know, now I'm advanced and I'm not thinking about childbearing anymore. Okay, um, uh, I'll arrange for you to meet with our family doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a specialist in gynecology mm -hmm. and obstetrics. Thank you very much, my son. I quite appreciate your efforts. Well, you see, it's rather too late. Anyway. How is my daughter? Oh, that's why I'm here. I'm all ears. She's double now. You know, everything is okay. It's normal. There are all normal signs of uh, early pregnancy. You see, but with time, you feel better and uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, but, come. Have you started your antenatal? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And they gave me some drugs. That's all. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> uh, I just thank God. I thank God for everything. And. Hope you don't forget to say your prayers. How can I, Mom? How can I? I do. You do say your prayers. Hi, honey. I'm over here with Mom. Mommy, let's do it.
I enjoyed the food. Thank you. Thank you. I won't call last week. Mm, how is it? Well, it's fine. Why hasn't he called me since? I came back from service and I decided we'd drop by and say hello. That's nice. Let's go. Bye bye. Join that movie. Please keep watching and don't change the channel. Oh, you're welcome, my in law. Why don't you just. You have achieved your aim, haven't you? I can see how well you enjoy your marriage. I never knew love could be so harmful to me. Too bad. Too bad you have to learn in such a hard way. I'm sure you'll be asking yourself now, for how long? For how long will this continue? Forever? Because she's your wife. My, my wife had a miscarriage and this is all you have to say about it. I have said all I had to say loud enough before now. How do you think a child can stay in a quaking stomach? It's impossible. I thought you said she was taking drugs. So what happened? Anyway, it's not too late yet. Since you're blindly in love with her, you can return her as your wife. 
but you must find another woman that can bear children for you. Yes. Don't worry. I'll handle that. But I just want to let you know that I love you dearly as my son. And I want the best for you. Take care of yourself. want to always get your drugs for you? Huh? Don't you know where I have to get your drugs? Excuse me. And he has changed. He doesn't care about me any longer. Is it not because of my sickness? God. Come and remove this agony and shame from me. Show to them that you're still God. You said in your book that with God all things are possible. Beside my house. What? Mwato? That you started building a house in another man's land without his consent, without informing him? But I have informed you now. 
Hey, what else are you going to do with the land anyway? Who is going to inherit it? Have you gone mad? Have you gone mad, Wato? Look, you are the one who is talking like a bongo man, the madman. You are a madman. Who is going to inherit the land and your property? You are a madman. Strangers. You are a madman. Look, why can't you understand this simple matter? Hmm? Wato, get out of this place. If you don't live here now, I will show you what spirit does with humans call. Get out! Now! Okay, wait for me. Look, I have informed you. If you like to cut off with my skull, but I have informed you. I will teach Mwato and his cohorts a lesson. I've been doing this simulation for too long. I will tell them that male child or no male child, we don't touch a tiger's tail whether dead or alive. I don't forget all the people I say to you. No, I will not. <laughs> I will not forget them. Please, darling, be careful and slowly. I will. Don't worry about me. Okay. Just take care of yourself. I will. I miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> take care. I'll see you later. All right. Grandmother. I will see her. And I will also go and see her grandfather. Ah, there you go again. <laughs> Careful now. For you. What's the matter? Please talk to me now, please talk to me. Come, let's go inside. Look at the problem I've brought to myself. Mom warned me, but I will not listen. Obum did, but I did not care. For how long will this continue? Can love be this blind? No. What a mistake. Bond or no bond, something has to be done before I die in silence. Why don't you want me to go with you? You know it's been a long time I've attended a location with you. Why don't you want me to? Because you will fall. Yes. You will fall down there and disgrace me. Yes. You want me to spell it out? You will fall. Fall, fall, fall down. Come on, I'm tired. No, Namdi. Namdi, why have you forgotten so soon? Namdi, you promised me. Yes, you did. Why have you forgotten the bond so soon? Namdi, you promised not to use it against me. Why do you break the bond now? Why? Nobody you gave me hope. You gave me everything. Nobody you gave me a new life. 
Wait, do you want to abandon me now? I had everything. Just because your mother wants to get you another wife. Was you bring me down so low? Was you kill my spirit before you marry her? Oh God! I have to leave. I have to go before this tension kills me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop struggling with me. I'll struggle. Is it not falling? Let me go ahead and fall down. I want to fall down. Oh, God. Why do you leave me with this terrible thing? God, if you're truly my creator. I want to change my situation. God, look out to me before I do otherwise. of this world. Do you know it's in our mainland at India, man, that Mwato and his son are building house? What? But he said it was on that small... Oh, you trust me. I pulled down the whole fence. Very good. And uprooted the stupid foundation they laid on my land. Good. I've taken them to court. That's very good of you. <clears throat> Help. Mwato. What, my dear? I'm very sure he's responsible for all our predicaments. Anyway, not to worry about them. Come, let's go inside. You have your meal. I know you must be very hungry. <laughs> That's oh. my dear. I'm happy you are home. Oh. I'll be so lonely. I'll miss you. I you. I trust you. <laughs> Oh, Adora, uh, how are you? I'm oh, fine. Please, can I see you privately? Oh, sweetie, uh, did you just please excuse me for a moment? So... Don't worry, I'll excuse you. Money is not the issue now. I mean, how much of him do you know? 
his background. I mean, you tell me some that. I have checked all of them. That the guy is 50 50. In fact, I came to tell him that we'll be seeing you next weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Um, is mom aware? Yes, and of course, she likes the guy very well. So, who's this guy? What's his name? What does he do? Tell me everything, okay? You know? His name is uh, Julius James Ezani, and he's um, a businessman. Tall, handsome Julius James Ezani from uh, Umuachi, right? What's the problem? Well, uh, I, I don't know how to take this. I don't know how to start. Uh, but... <laughs> if it's the same Julius I know. Um, well, I, I wouldn't know how you interpret this. I know you're my younger sister. I will not close my eyes and watch you fall into a pit. But what do you mean? Julius is a criminal. Ada, we were schoolmates in the university. Okay? Julius was into, I mean, he was into all sorts of things. There was nothing he didn't do on campus. In fact, in our final year, he was, he, was, he was being expelled, I mean, for armed robbery. After he was tried and set free. Look, this and that, we, we, all, we all knew, I mean, that he was part of it. Oh, God. But I, I saw, there was a case where he shot and killed two students on campus, Ada. Ada, you, you, you can't marry Julius. You can't. Eh. Okay, just because I was against your mind that your so-called wife, you now want to retaliate by blackmailing my would-be husband, Abby? Come on, uh, okay. Ada, what's wrong with you? What, what, why would I blackmail? Why would I lie against your suitor? Will I marry you? Huh? Ada, I know him too well. There's no problem, Ada. There's no problem. I know where you're heading to. Don't worry. Eh? We are not even coming again. Eh? Don't worry. Thank you. I don't wait. I don't, I don't, no, no. I don't, I don't wait. Nah. Nah. Mom, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Eh? Julius was a terrorist school. Julius was into armed robbery. Was into raping girls. Was into beating lecturers. All sorts of criminal activities. Is that the kind of man you want as a son-in-law? Nandi, Nandi Onyama. If you're so wise and discerning, why did you make a worse mistake? Oh. Hmm? Anyway, the gentleman I saw here is quite good. A corporate businessman. I don't think he's any of these things you just mentioned now. Um, a snake is always a snake. Brother Nandi, I, I love Julius. We are both compatible. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you think I'm marrying because of his money. I'm not marrying because of his money. I'm sure you'd have wished I married a, a blind man or a cripple or even a HIV patient. Maybe that would make all everybody happy. Okay. I'll tell you what I know. I'm, I'm leaving you guys to do what he wants. Like, just keep throwing your mouth there. That's a business. Papa, I'm out of here for me. Are you sure? I'm pregnant. There's no doubt about it. I know what you're thinking. Listen, nothing will happen 
again. Okay? I I've been praying hard at these days and something tells me nothing will happen. It's an inner feeling and I have a set telling All I need is your support and encouragement. I love your courage. <laughs> Tell me you're so positive. Thank you. I hope you like that girl for now. Uh, yeah, she's fine and healthy. At least she does not fall down. <laughs> You're correct. At least we are sure she's a complete woman. <laughs> Mom, is it true that that one is pregnant again? <laughs> she just wasted my son's life. Pregnant that will soon disappear. When the volcano erupts. <laughs> I've been thinking of what in this said about Julius when they were in school. You know no good mother wants the daughter to get into the wrong hands when it comes to marriage. You know, this marriage is giving me a headache. I want to be very careful the kind of son I want to have. Ah, Mom, don't worry. Don't worry. See, Brother Namji just said that thing because of my, my position in concerning his own wedding. Julius is not a bad person. Mom, you enjoy him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. 
Titi, what's wrong with you? Titi. What's your segment about? I'm healed. God has healed me. God has delivered me. Right here in this room, from this television set, I got my healing, my deliverance. Oh God, now I know how, how it feels to receive a miracle. It's happened two weeks ago. Since then, I'm not funny. Oh God, I've given myself all sorts of things. But I couldn't do it. God is still. Please, my darling, please join me in praising God. Join me. Join you in praising God. Tomorrow morning, you go and see the doctor. Sorry. We we'll lie down. She's a good girl. 
obedient and respectful. Though she had a child before her husband died. But she's just 23. At least we're sure she can have a child for you. That is the most important thing. I'm sure you really love her. Like her. Well, thank you very much for your concern. But I don't think I need another wife any longer. My wife is going to bear me a child by the grace of God. You're not talking to a child, Nand. We all know what will soon happen. I'm only trying to save you from the problem and embarrassment. But I can see. I'm suspecting you are a nice man. All this good, he has done me well. Oh my soul, my soul, but he's standing. Mom, why don't you pray for my safety? By the grace of God, nothing will happen except he's not God. All is good, he has done me well. Oh my soul. is going to have a baby before me. Mm. <laughs> if her baby is a boy yeah. and mine mm. is a boy, her baby will be calling my brother or uncle, though he's older. Women, women, forget about that. Don't <laughs> bother yourself about that issue. I am so happy. I am happy. Oh, so happy. <sighs> this is God's doing. It's marvelous in my eyes. This is God's divine gift. Nobody has said me. Oh, God. Nandi said it. 
Adora, you have killed me. I thought you said you knew him well. <laughs> I thought I knew him wrong. Well. He never really told me anything. <laughs> See you. See your life. Hell! Why did you die? Why did you just die and leave me to survive this alone? Why? Eh? Oh, what do I do now? What do I do? He was arrested for what? Drug trafficking and murder. <laughs> We had to go and see Nand. The former NDL was with his father's friend. And we knew him well. Let's go and see him. Enter the car, let's go. Let's go and see him. Let's go and see him. Let's go and Please. I'm sorry for everything you have done. Please save me from this situation. Sir, the point is this. The man is no longer in the bus. He retired since. And I'm not too acquainted with the present one who has been alleged to be above board. In fact, even if dad was alive and the former boss, his friend, was still there, he wouldn't have done anything. He hates these people because they ruin the life of youths in the society. It's a very serious case. It was alleged that another officer was killed. And it's in the papers already. Come on, let's get realistic. What can one do, I mean? What can one do about this? Nandi, what about defending him in court? Mama, I don't think he wants me to defend him in court. See, such people have their own crowd, and that includes smart lawyers. Not their kind. Ada, what of his business associates? They are the ones who betrayed him. <laughs> Jealous people, because my husband is richer than all of them. Ada, I warned you. Ada, you disappoint me. Mama, you supported her. Me, you, you supported her. Congratulations for your queen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 
my lovely, pretty darling, darling wife has given birth to a set of twists. <laughs> Okay, so how was the movie? We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and let's hear your comments. And if you did not too, let's hear how you feel. Now, have you subscribed to Nollywood 5 Star? If you have not subscribed, please do. You know one thing about subscribing? It keeps you informed of all our latest uploads. And it is absolutely free. So hit that subscribe button now. Check out our playlist where we have the best of Nollywood five star. We have the romance movies, the comedy movies, the epic movies. And if you are a lover of a romance movies, we have them all there. So make use of our playlist today. Thank you for staying with us on Nollywood 5 Star. We really appreciate your presence.